Hello Cobras and welcome back to Earthbound, I am Triclide Tamer. Now in HD, am I? Still 720p, but still, HDMI, HDPVR2 arrived yesterday and I was so excited that I did so many tests and didn't even bother to record an actual video, hooray! Alright. We have our pencil eraser, and don't use it near a pencil shop because you'd be led to danger. Let's use it. For some weird reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. Hooray, now we can make progress. Let's not quite go over that way because there's good stuff for you if you head out this way. And I did battle enemies off screen. And here comes this guy again. He's gonna land on that rock very perfectly. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say fuzzy pickles. Ka-snappy. Wow, what a great photograph. I was really the fondest of memories. And he talks normally after the sing-songiness. And, well, as those you want to say, I did battle enemies off screen in the previous episode. I did intend to commentate, but it entered weirdly. And let's start off battling with one of the more difficult enemies in Peaceful Rest Valley Territorial Oak. Nest attacks. What could be so bad about a tree? Just sucking away my offense and defense. I don't know. How about we see? Let's do its HP and damage. Yeah, he's uh, lowering my stuff, so that's a little bit of a threat within itself. Brain Shock! That usually doesn't work, so yeah. Brain shock again, shake up my screen a bit. Mm -hmm. And when you beat it, it bursts into flames. But if you get to the U1 screen before your HP goes down to zero, you're all good. So save it for last when it's in groups. Alright. Now let's cross this bridge. The other one was broken way down that way. Alright, let's see. Any other enemies right now? It's probably a good idea to use life up with how low on HP I am. Max it all out. Alright, I've got a couple mobile sprouts right here. Level 15, offense up by 2, speed up by 1, Vitality up by 1, IQ up by 1, HP up by 12, then PP up by 4. Awesome stuff. They were trying to like, sow their seeds and grow more things and they, I kept missing my stuff and territorial oaks are annoying. I think this is a way to go. Actually, you just go all the way over here and there's a little UFO down there. Let's see. Other enemy. Job charm. This actually is the way to go, but not, well, you still circle around this way anyway. But another new enemy is a spinning robo. I like the robotic enemy music. Fire to beam. They're basically more powerful versions of little UFOs, which I haven't even shown. It was the enemy that I fought off screen, but yeah. Uh, just keep attacking a little bit. They do beams, and they can fire beams that make you have a cold, which uh, healing alpha heals. Basically, you take a little bit of HP of damage before you attack. Doesn't really mess up too much, but it's good to use healing alpha to get rid of it. And there's magic butterflies out up here. And the thing about uh, Lil UFOs with the spinning robe joining it, uh, let's attack it, uh, they evade a lot of your attacks, so be careful. And yeah, they fire beams just like the Lil UFOs, and I definitely want to use life up. Let's see if I can have a little bit of a look at the enemies that Tucson has to offer. I did try to attempt to show off, and let's have a little look at the new age retro hippie, oh yeah! Awesome enemy. Let's see if he does something awesome. He lost his temper. His offense went up by one. How dare he do that? Let's be on guard. Toothbrush and his teeth were white and breath of fresh air and stuff. And Ness was solidified and now he's able to move. Now we can figure the length of things easily with a ruler. There's also a ruler salesman, but they're completely and entirely useless. So yeah. Pizza, I like me some pizza, so how about we go into here and get us some pizza? We don't sell pizza here, we only deliver. Let me give you our numbers so you can place an order sometime. The best pizza is my pizza. Yeah, they got a restaurant just to give you their number. But yeah, you can call it anytime and order some pizza. <laughs> Alright, and this corner is a luck capsule. I might as well go ahead and take it immediately because I practiced quite a bit and didn't really see too much use to it until I did use it and just increase our luck a little bit by one. Here's a guy by the bridge that's like, oh man, I wish I could cross over or maybe a guy yeah, that's trying to face or something. Let's get a croissant from that cadeau because, you know, cadeau is a gift. And another thing, a bomb. Whoa, what could I do with a bomb? Well, I could use it and do a little bit of damage, but gotta be careful with uh, such explosives. 
All right, eventually you'll find another bridge, cross on over, and we're going to continue even higher up. Uh, make you despawn, go back up, you still haven't despawned. Maybe I should go farther, but more enemies are spawning, them, but they'll probably be despawned by the time you get to that point, if I do get to that point. Another magic butterfly, I guess I could use it, because I think I have, like, in the relative 50s of all this stuff and everything. Yep, <laughs> right at 50, well, as you know, I healed 20. And come off over this way, all the way to the place. Rock and a hard hat. Ha, ha, nice. That's pun worthy. Alright, so I'm going to equip the hard hat and I'm going to use the for sale sign. Use it! Use the for sale sign of customers heading their way. They're going to be using their PSI skills. I'm so strong. Is this a cool tool shop? What are you selling? Selling a Mr. Baseball cap? Give me $99, please. Yeah, I'm right at $100, so hopefully I don't get in game overs. Yeah, okay, so now the little UFOs can only really do one HP of damage to me. Get past you, run away, and play sand enemies. I'll fight them, I guess. Take it and run! Couple life noodles, but too much stuff. Couple life noodles are awesome. You can use it to heal fallen party members and, and stuff and heal a lot of things. Yeah, this place isn't really the greatest place, but when we enter this cave, we're pretty much safe. Because, yeah, there's only coil snakes here, and we're on the stretch to the happy, happy village, which may or may not be so happy, happy right now. I am not your enemy, I'm just a plain old mole. You're certainly stronger than you were while wandering around. One message, we can, I'm stronger, you don't fight one of my enemies because of all the swirls and stuff, because I'm weaker enemies. And people are being all weirdo stuff around here. There's a cave right there that we can enter. All of our products are blessed. Blue, blue drugstore. Oh yeah. Drugs are good. Sing along to the music. I don't know why I am. Some new things you can hear. Sandlot bat, which is better. Fry pan. I don't know what that's for. Copper bracelet. I do have one of those, but I'll be getting another one soon. Home set, which is the same as the hard hat, which I got for free. And ribbon, which I can equip on this. This town's looking a little blue, so I am ready to white things up and make these enemies black out, haha. <laughs> I'm providing a lot of colorful puns, and this right here is, is a insane cultist. A little bit of interesting stuff with these guys. They look kind of Santa hatty because without that little thing, it would make them look like KKK, and then... Original versions, they had HH, -H, which could mean Heil Hitler, and also Hitler was like the commander of the SS, even though it was more Himmler, which is the Schutzstaffel. We trust you. Feel free to shop here. What would you like to buy? You can buy bananas or fresh eggs right here inside not to buy anything, and you can't really steal anyway because, yeah, let's, you have to talk to the sign because it's a salesman. But yeah, things are a little crazy around here. Yeah, those guys give pretty dang good EXP, 353 a pop. And come out on the other side, and we're in this area of Peaceful Rest of Valley where that house was, and these crows are actually coming for us. Okay, that was absolutely ridiculous. I missed like 10 times until I actually hit, and the croissant was stolen. Oh no. Who? Are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad to see you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe, therefore I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have had to try to bust out of here. You can't open the door. You have to get the key from Carpenter. He's got it hidden away. I heard Carpenter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear this Franklin badge, okay? So we got the Franklin badge, which is going to be helpful until we return and after we defeat Carpenter. Just kick butt like I know you can. Oh boy, go outside. Hey Ness, you're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey. Since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person and happy happy as him, you should join us, but I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will. Later, potato. Oh, seems that Pokey's causing a little bit of trouble now. Alright, we got a couple cultists and a spiteful crow. I forgot the enemy of the crow name switching words around. Flash Alpha, which can make enemies have certain things like crying and stuff, yeah. Make these cultists cry because I'm not blue enough for them. And I'd say it's worth mentioning that if you stay at the hotel-ish farm thing in town, <laughs> Yeah, there's a few guys in here, just a few, you know? Well, we don't have to worry about fighting too many. Blue, blue, don't bother us, we're in the middle of prayer. Okay, mother, way, go quickly. But yeah, the hotel farm thing. If you stay there, you'll get the, like, the, a more full message of Paula where, where she talks about, like, running water and stuff. 
Blue, blue, lagoon, blue, blue. Blah, 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 blue, blue, blue. No problem here. Blue, blue, why are you saying that I'm only capable of walking west? I'm not true, see? You can only talk to some. Green, green, blue, that's not me. I'm so new at this. <laughs> yeah, you can make your way through. I'm pretty full on good, so I'm not really gonna grab anything. You can make a lot of the guys move out of the way, so you can grab a lot of those things, and you're gonna have to do some fighting. I'm trying to learn how to whistle. Whistling makes one smile. I'm pressing it over there. Blue, blue, you strange mass fellow. You're gonna fight him. So we got a little circle of homies right here, <laughs> slagging the game up pretty much. I'd say I'll use a little bit of life up because, you know, there's things that can happen, you know, a little bit of problematic stuff. Yay, let's lag. I, I scream because I don't know what else to do. Yeah, any other mustached man would. Well then, this must be Carpenter. Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world bloom and change it into a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right hand assistant? Nah. If you don't want to be my right hand, my left would be just fine. Just kidding. Your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me and I'll end your pitiful game. I don't think so. Use your lightning. I reflected with the Franklin badge. And then, those are fighting actions. Alright, so whenever he tries to do any of these lightning related attacks, it'll do stuff. Yeah, 1 6 damage with the bomb. Crashing boom bang! Yay, so many explosions going on. This is an explosive battle. Hooray, yeah. Yeah, I, I just like use any pun that comes to mind because I want to get that counter going, but no. <laughs> Sometimes I'll lay off if I know it's just like such a bland pun. Yeah, don't really worry about like doing too much because he just utilizes paint attacks, which is a little bit more powerful than cultists, or otherwise he'll do the paint stuff and add like exactly 2,000 EXP left aside from the thing, aside from the cultists that I had to fight. Do you see the many many statue behind me? Once I saw the statue, I've been doing particular things. Please forgive me if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail in the mountain cabin where Paul is being held. Take the key and go. Alright. So there's a statue appearing again after seeing it from at Liar Exaggerate's house. Yeah, this place is a little bit more empty now. I still have a full inventory, but this right here would be a skip sandwich and the one down that way would be a croissant. And out we go, and here's Pokemon! What a horrible nightmare, I somehow woke up, yes, let's be friends again! Please answer me, I promise to be good, huh? Okay? And he's slowly walking away, his light's letting it slide or something. Ha! <laughs> I lied, see ya, sucker! Well, I assume that comes of the way you were poking around. Alright, back to the cabin where Paul's being held, it's such a small little house. You got the key, I heard, yeah, I'm sorry for all the trouble. Oh, sorry, I didn't really mean to say yes. Well, I did get... Smacked around a few times, I was intending to use it manually. Strong just like imagine you to be. People in Tucson are worried about me. You bet there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. I'm gonna use a little psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. And it's true that her psychic power is deadly, but she's going to start off at level 1. Yeah! Paula joined you, hurrah! So we have another party member, but we're gonna definitely have to train her up. And now that Paula's in the party, it's definitely a good idea to do some item switching around. Okay, travel charm, let's give it to Paula, put in her inventory so we can actually free up a little bit on her space, so that's good. Frying pan, we're gonna give that to Paula because it's what she can equip for a little bit of extra offense, and Paula's already at level 1, almost as defensive as Ness. Give her, her the ribbon, and I guess a cup of life noodles just to put in her place. Oh boy, a couple more steps, and here comes the sound again, ha ha! Pictures taken instantaneously, I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory I forgot to sing. Look at the camera ready, say fuzzy pickles. Ness is the only one that poses and Paul's just like, what the heck is going on here? Bring back the fondest of memories. And here is where I end this episode of Let's Play Earthbound. Until next time, where we go from Happy Happy Village to the Lilliput Steps, the location of the Second Sanctuary, do not toast yourself.